Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers, Ghost of New Eden. My name is Saikon and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of the game. It is time to do a couple of ghost uh, investigations. Unchain thy heart is the name of the game. Um, I was trying to upgrade weapons, stumbled into this store and stumbled into a ghost story. Matter of fact, um, not only this store seems to be haunted, but all of the available stores, with the exception of the one guy very early in the camp uh, where we killed uh, his wife. Great. So now I'm stuck sure with uh, no merchants at the moment and no way of upgrading our weapons. Anyways, the story here is uh, that apparently a ghost seems to be haunting this place. Uh, husband, super uh, unwell about it. Are you uh, sure wife, you don't want a little pick me up? Uh, tries to Broken consult glass. him. She said bottles in her house shifted and fell. We should check it out. Are you sure you don't want a little pick me up? Good. We need to search their house. Clearly, something Half is wrong. Operation wiped out us through. Curses are bad for business. So let's check this house. What can a ghost only communicate by breaking wee bottles? A feeble ghost, capable only of small mischief? Let's take a good look here. This is to certify that Fob Valkut, resident of New Eden, is registered as a proprietary of the land comprised in the above mentioned title for the consideration of eighty pounds. Phoebe Walcott's done well for herself. Her own warehouse and pier at Covenant Beach. I feel a draft. A ghost was here. Not long ago. Ismail Law will get all I own, he deserves it. Okay. I know Phoebe and Ishmael are friends, but that's a generous will. Our shy, bottle breaking ghost also hides things. Why the will? Everything Ishmael has, he gets from her. Perhaps the ghost thinks Ishmael is being ensnared. Phoebe likes a drink. Or five. Maybe that vexes our mysterious ghost. Wait for me, sweetie. Mama will be there soon. Wait for me, sweetie. Mama will be there soon. All right. This is as sad as it is disturbing. Despite her defiance, her past butters her. I doubt there's anything more to be found here. Let's go back to the store and ask a few more questions. Maybe she lost her daughter, son? That would explain that the ghost is so small. Have you found your ghost? Oh, she has wares. May I see Sorry, your wares? Guys. I need to do I'm that. I'm a shopkeeper. All right, now that we have that out of the way, let's continue with the story. How's Ishmael? Feeling better, is he? He's cleaning up the broken glass. I've buggered off till he's finished, and you should too. Would you know, by any chance, what, what pulls the trigger on his crisis? He deals with his pain as best he can, like all of us. You leave him alone now, yeah? Your troublesome ghost meddles with more than your booze. They also hid your will. I knew things were vanishing. It wasn't just the liquor. Whose ghost do you think might hide your liquor in your will? Sounds like my long-dead husband's particular brand of mischief. Ghosts may linger long in the invisible before returning. If you've liquor stocked elsewhere, I'd like to check it. I would too, sir. But I abandoned my warehouse some time ago and I've since lost the keys. Ishmael may have spares. His room is upstairs, right over our heads. A trusted friend, is he? 
<sighs> Despite his efforts to keep me alive, I consider him my one and only friend. Thank you for your time. No matter. I've all the time in the world. She wants to die. That's why she's drinking that much. And her husband might want to protect her. Ward, think you can fend for yourself? There you are. Here I am. Ishmael took a risk keeping this, especially around here. Was he scared of a ghost? I'd like to ask him about that. This Bible really annoyed him. I hope he kept his opinion to himself. That little potty box there. Wet sand. Did Ishmael go to the sea recently? There's a beach by Phoebe Walcott's warehouse. Was Ishmael running his own business behind his drunk boss's back? Why did Bennett Law not kill me instead of you, my love? Why did you not find the strength to kill him? Why was I not with you when he strangled you? I can smell the liquor on his breath. We knew Bennett Law was a bad master. I should have found a way to pay the freedom before it was too late. I've been a coward now. I must pay by surviving you, my dear Bess, not being able to punish your murderer. I'm a coward for not stopping poor Phoebe from drinking. A widow, drunk and inconsolable. And a widower. Sober and inconsolable. Hmm. Also, a shy, bottle-breaking ghost. That's not a lot to go on. Okay, where is the last clue? It's always in the ethereal. And there is the key. So our mysterious ghost also took time to hide that key. Must be important. What exactly does this ghost want? There's no clear pattern. Banisher rule number one. A ghost always lingers for a reason. Let's have a chat with Ishmael Law. Are you feeling better, Mr. Law? Call me Ishmael, and accept my apologies for my previous behavior. Accept my apologies for searching your room. I did have your boss's approval, but you may yet feel discomforted. If Phoebe allowed it, I'm sure it's all right. To be really honest with you, I need your help understanding what's going on here. I'll do my best, sir. Kind of easy to work for someone who drinks so much. Phoebe Walcott deals with her pain the only way she knows. But you, you dislike heavy drinkers, don't you? My friend is wounded by the horrors of the world. She drinks so that she does not weep. But I weep enough for two. What can you tell me about Covenant Beach? Not much, sir. There's a locked warehouse there. The ghost that haunts this store hid the key. That was Mistress Walcott's storehouse. The centre of her business. It's derelict now. But you've been there of late, haven't you? I found sand from the beach in your lodgings. Why did you go to the warehouse? And why would the ghost hide the key to it? I don't know what you are scraping for, mister, but you'll not find it on my boots. He gets defensive. I'll see you about later, Ishmael. Any time, sir. Strange case. We're going to find out what's happening. And we need to go right there. Find okay, nothing cool. conclusive. 
The warehouse by the beach is the only lead left. Let's go. Get lost, won't you? Not today. Just random ghosts appearing. Not leaving any loot, that's how you want it. Ishmael's nerves and Phoebe's thirst. Reminds me of the good old days. Just lie me down in a puddle of piss and had a couple angry ghosts. The ghost may be discreet, even sneaky, but these two are haunted. Phoebe's husband, maybe? Ishmael's old master was a drunk too. Alcohol has to be the key to this case. I think we've been here already. Yeah, cleared out everything. With the exception of that chest up there. Dangling right in front of our uh, faces. Who are you, by the way? Good day to you, ma'am. Richard? That you? Afraid not, ma'am. Red McCraith, I'm a banisher. Is that a breed of doctor I've not heard of? I need no <laughs> bandages. And here I was thinking I was famous. What brings you here, doctor? I'm starting to wonder myself. I'm a banisher. I'm here to help the colony. I'm to lift the curse. That'll be nice. What colour did you say your name was? <laughs> Red, ma'am. Red McCraith. You, young man, have a tongue as refined as your appearance is rough. <laughs> I'm Hepzibah Perkins. Goody Perkins to you. All right, she's a nice a old lady. Me. But none of our concern at the moment. I want the chest. And the chest we shall get by moving around here. Right behind that house. That I just remember, I couldn't enter the last time. <clears throat> so that's a no-no. There is clearly a way to jump down, but not a way to get up. One less to worry about. Oh, 
wolves, not really a problem, but there are more and more coming. Okay. Not today. Again, no loot, nothing, just wolves. Once I've bruised the heart, destroy the wisps within its roots. Where are the remaining wisps? Is the question. Picked and culled. What a mini game it is. There's one particular resource that I'm missing for the upgrades of all of my weapons, which is called Ghost Haunted Essence. Must be something that we have had the chance to get plenty of earlier in the game. More efficient than cannon powder. But we can no longer obtain it apparently. Which is really, really unfortunate because you can also not buy that from a merchant. So not, uh, not very well done. I do have a lot of uh, resources from the overworld, as you can imagine. Those ghost uh, essences pretty unavailable at the moment. And it sucks that you need one resource for three or four uh, equipment items. There's really nothing I can do about it. All right, uh, let's take a look. Well, we clearly have something to do there. There's also a way to the right, which looks like if I'd be the program of the game, I would be hiding something here. Take you. Yeah. See, no ghostly loots, no remains, and that's the problem. Perfect opportunity for the game to give me those haunted remains, but nothing came from it. seems to be a spectral point that you can jump to. Yeah, I'm seeing jumping patterns.
think you could take on a ghost? Yeah. Something's nearby. Where is it? Ghostly concretion, that's not even what we need, and that's another problem. We have so many resources, and if you're missing the ghosts in the specific kind of tier of resource that you're looking for, then it's basically bad luck, so. Make a run for it! Away with you! Spectres have gathered around. Why not force them to appear? That's a good idea. I like it. All right, let's get a couple of ghosts. Unveil yourself. You bastard. Our damage is good. Spectre, going for a meat suit. Try this on. Incoming. All right, let's try this. Enforcements. Blasted pest. Okay, almost there. Okay, got him good. We got him real good. Well, maybe he got uh, got us good as well. for help if you need it.
pizza. More? Oh boy. Watch out. Spectre possession. Get lost, won't you? Run, Red. Take that to your face. More of them, oh lord. <sighs> Quicken yourself. Careful! Watch out! Spectre possession! Wouldn't let that happen, could we? That guy is strong. Follow my voice. Get the hell out of there! I'm right here, you know. What is wrong with this guy? He's hitting us like no tomorrow. Oh my lord. So we're having a lot of ghastly concentrations, but we do not have the actual unholy something something bones. Really an oversight of the game to not give you all of the resources that you would need. Did we miss a few? Standing by. I'm right here, you know. Yeah, I know. But we're good. More ghastly concentration, and I promise you I do have plenty of ghastly concentration. This is Phoebe Walcott's warehouse. It's bigger than I'd imagined. She had quite the business. Little remains.
Bennett Law. Ishmael's master and the man who killed his wife. Law docked here. Ishmael must have been devastated. <laughs> I bet it was Phoebe who put dog shite in his food. This would be a perfect smuggler's hideout. You think it could be? At this point in the case, anyone and anything is suspicious. Okay, let's see what we're going to find. Right. Let's go find some answers. Traces of a ghost's memory resonate here. I should have killed him. Killed that dog with my bare hands. <laughs> Best. My poor love. Forgive me. Ishmael Law drinks just as much as Miss Wolcott, except he hides it. So by spilling the liquor and hiding the key to the warehouse... The ghost may be trying to stop him drinking, not her. God, I hate vines. With a passion. Whoever the game designer was, I uh, thought, you know what? Wouldn't it be fun if we have a mechanic that forces the player to stand at a very particular angle and then, in quick succession, Try to hit a few targets, and if they miss, I need to redo it over and over again. Not only that, but I plan uh, to lock content off of the players that don't want to do it. Sounds like a really good idea if you ask me, is what the manager said. And this is how this mechanic was uh, invented. By the way, in case you're wondering, Although, it looks like you can shoot through it. That is not the case. Because walls here are quite sturdy. They are solid objects and all you see is a little bit of texture on top of it. Which means that, that third thing behind here uh, is very, very difficult to hit. Because there's actually a wall in front of it. Who there corrupted weeds? Get back up! Well, well, well. So let's try that again. Nope. 
not happening. So much fun. Yep, there is a wall in front of it. over here let's get that angle and oh, there is still a wall in front of it all the way over here and massive surprise there is still a wall in front of it am I the only one seeing this as a problem How did that go through playtesting and people were like, yeah, mm -hmm, that's fine. Straight up hitting it, but no. Can't even get through here because the vines are blocking it. So what's the solution? Complaining? Will we find the solution? Yes. The heart's yours. The roots are mine. Although you can't hit it, wall is in the way. Nope. I think the best shot that we do have is literally from up here.
Oh boy. My game review of the game already launched today. This year would totally... Unfortunately, I haven't played to this point when I was doing the game review. This year would totally and absolutely get into the game review. All right, let me try that again. It's not uh, fun for you guys to just watch me fail over and over. Done. All right, let's not ever talk about uh, this incident again. That whole thing was an absolute sh uh, show. Ishmael must have been absolutely hammered. A drop may hide the rain. Yes, there was no God to mind you in this miserable life. And none to welcome you to the next. What is this place? Where am I? I'm so sorry, Bess. Ishmael? My husband? There is no heaven. And yet I shall go to hell. Stop torturing yourself. Less? But how? Why? What have you become, Ishmael Law? You must stop all of this. Live better. So that's our discreet ghost, Bess Law. Ishmael has no idea she is back. He probably thinks it was a liquor. We need Bess's tie. That way we can make her manifest. All right, let's find exactly that. Here, Red, the bag, there's an echo. Written recognition of Ishmael's freedom after the mother of his wife, Bess. We found our tie. We have the tie. We can make Bess manifest. You must be wife to Ishmael Law. My name is Antea Duarte. This is Red McWraith. We are banishers. Will you banish the ghost of Bess Law? Will it ease her pain? First things first. You're not after Phoebe Walcott, right? You're here for Ishmael. I don't know why I'm here. I just want the pain to stop. You're dead a long time, Bess. What brought you back now? My husband. His Drunkenness roused my pain and brought me back to him. I was nowhere and nothing. And then, all of a sudden, the world appeared with me in it and I saw Ishmael, desperate on the floor. Are you saying that you stay because he was drunk? I stay because I cannot leave. The memory of my pain is growing. And it is unbearable. They brought me back. Ishmael and his pain. That woman and her poison. They must stop. They suffer. They didn't mean to bring you back. Their intentions matter not. Her madness is becoming his. I am trapped in their pain. I am trapped in their pain because of her sway over my husband and I want it all to stop. We'll take our leave. 
Expect to be invited to manifest again sometime soon. Don't resist the call. Ishmael and Phoebe will be there. Who? Your husband and his friend. Between us, we'll put an end to all of this. All right. Be quick. I can barely hear my Ishmael now, above the rising, growing pain. Good. Time for us to go back. The idea behind it, great. Uh, the... Well, we finally unraveled this sad case. Aye. Uh -huh. Sadness over pain, over outrage, over guilt. It's a sick dance, isn't it? Ishmael and Phoebe remind me of where I stood for a time. I remember. All right, I'll go back to blasted pest of the town, and we'll join. The recording one sign there and here we go Are we taking the side entrance then? Apparently. Mr. McGrath, welcome back. Ishmael's not feeling well. Best leave him be. More trouble? He had another episode. Same as before. He's fine now. I gave him a drink. And this time, he took it. Ishmael has history with liquor. Should you be offering him drink? I'm the town drunk. What else am I supposed to do? Anyway, he's got a dry stick up his ass. It'll do him good to wet it. It is liquor. I suspect you may be overestimating its medicinal qualities. By dint of extensive experience, I am better placed to estimate the power of liquor than anyone. Side, he always turns it down. Shame, really. Nothing like a sip or two to soothe a troubled soul. Ishmael Law is haunted by the ghost of his wife. But even without her, this whole situation is a mess. Time we all had a wee chat. You too, Bess. Come on. It's time to show yourself. Phoebe Walcott, this is Bess Law. Bess, you already know Phoebe. Bess? My love? How? I thought I was dreaming. You were really here? I was. I am now. And not for long. Please. Oh, your best. The best. His best. Ishmael is fine, don't worry. Or, well, he will be soon. Ishmael has been drinking as much as you do. Liquor won't solve the problem here. Of course it won't. But we'll have some fun while we wait to not solve anything. You make him suffer, woman. And I cannot stand the pain. Talk not to me about pain, lady. You know nothing of my pain. Shut your mouth, Phoebe. You shoot yours, if you can take the bottle from it. Stop rattling each other's cages. It's time to bring this to a close. We're blaming her. Phoebe Walcott. You used liquor to dull the pain of a tragic past. You can't have foreseen that it would cause a haunting. But it did. And I must end it. I swear I never wanted to hurt anybody but myself. I know. Do well with it all and do it. If you're not going to give me one for the road, just get it over with. She was the first one who wasn't really guilty in a sense.
it for me, sweetie. Mama will be there soon. Oh no. Phoebe. My dear Phoebe. There really was no other way. This way, best guess what she needs. What have you done? She... She's dead. Oh no. Please, no. What have you done? She... Well, she's dead. I guess we're not having a merchant oh, anymore. No. Once Please, no. again, good job, Saiken. Alright, that's pretty much it. The bringing it to, to a conclusion uh, for now. Uh, I still need to do one or two more hauntings, so that's going to happen the uh, next episode. We'll take this one here and the haunting case here. And that should be good for now. That should be good for now. Uh, and yeah, the next one happens in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a spooky rest of your day and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.